was thinking about this idea of us tossing our cake and then holding it. And God says, cast it. And I'm still like, God take it. And then I'm still holding it. After I've prayed about it, I'm still worrying about it. But when scripture says cast it, it says cast. You can hear the drop. And when I cast it, it's kind of like I'm leaving the weight of it. If it's worth worrying about, it's actually worth praying about. Now, when you worry about something, it means you really care about that thing. The thing you really care about, sometimes you don't know how to handle it. Maybe you're confused about what to do in that situation. That is why you get to worry because you care. If you were not to care, you would not even bother. Now, since it's worth worrying about, it's worth praying about. The question is, will you worrying about it change it or change anything? No, it will not. Even if it does, it will make things become negative. It's making it become worse. But will you praying about it change anything? Try and see. As scripture says, test and see that the Lord is good. Pray about it and see what God will do. Now scripture says, Casting all your case unto God for a case about you. And when I thought about that, I was thinking about this idea of us tossing our care and then holding it. And God says, cast it. And I'm still like, God, take it. And then I'm still holding it. And I'm like, God, help me with this. Help me with this job. Help me with my boss. And then I'm still worrying about it. After I've prayed about it, I'm still worrying about it. But when scripture says cast it, it says cast. You can hear the drop. And when I cast it, it's kind of like I'm leaving the weight of it. I'm no more in possession of this care. I'm no more in possession of this thought. Scriptures in Matthew 6 says, take no thought. What shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we wear? So it's the process of I'm not taking this thought. I am casting this thought. Why do you cast it? Because God cares. It means the same way I care about it and I want to worry about it. The scripture says that God cares. It says in the scripture that even the hairs of our head are all numbered, that God numbers the hairs of our head. That shows how much he cares. If he cares so much for the birds, I would like you as if you would communicate with a bird and ask the bird, how do you eat? How do you find water to drink? Or how do you guys even do? You look so beautiful. Like, who clothes you? And scripture says that God clothes them. Even the lilies of the valley, that they are here today, the flowers, they will be gone tomorrow. They look so beautiful. And scripture says that your heavenly father made them and he made them so beautiful. And he says, what about you? Why are you worrying when you are of more value than the bird, than the flower, than all these things? He says, no, cast these thoughts. Give it to God. Let go and let God. Now, the problem is that when we don't learn how to let go, and allow God do what he wants to do, or to let go and trust God, it is a sign of great pride. Now, I'm stressing that word pride because it is a sign of pride when we don't want to cast our case to God. And the Bible says that pride leads to humiliation, but humility leads to honor. And the scripture lets us know when we humble ourselves before God, it's a posture of God, I cannot, but you can I have no capacity, but with Christ, I can do all things. I am not able, but with you, this is possible. So it is the idea of saying, God, I'm letting go of this care. It doesn't mean I don't care about it, but because I care that much about it, that's why I'm giving it to you. Because it bothers me that much, it means I care about this, my, my son. If it is, you are struggling with a child that is stubborn, God, I care so much about this, my son, and I'm not going to complain again, so I give it to you. I give this child to you. I care so much because I'm hungry, and I want to take care of my body. God, because of that much care, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to give this to you because you are a provider. So it is a posture of saying, trust God, drop your pride. Now let me read that scripture in First Peter so that you would get it from the scripture. First Peter chapter 5 says, so humble yourselves under the mighty power of God and at the right time he will lift you up in honor. How do you do that humility? Give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. Now the last point I want you to know is that God cares about you. It is a posture of knowing that God loves you. The issue that we have as humans is the inability to believe that God loves us. The inability to believe that God really cares 
Because we've heard so many voices that tells us how much God will hit our head when we fumble, how much God would dislike us because of our mistakes or because of just our humanity. But the truth is that God sees through you. God knows you so well and he loves you still. And he wants to bless you and he wants to be there for you. So this video is to encourage you. This new year, this 2024, drop your pride, humble yourself, and cast that cake. Stop tossing the cake. You've been tossing it, of course. I'm no more in possession of that little ball that I was with because I've cast it out. So yours is not just to drop the cake and not care about it. It's to cast it to God with expectation and faith that with God all things are possible. God is able to handle this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am Owem Akwan. If you love this video, share it to someone that this will encourage and do so well to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like because your like means a lot to this channel. It helps YouTube spread the video to other viewers to see the video and be blessed also. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.